Yo, what's up? This is Giorgio Martini from Noisy Skin, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to create the kick ass drum kick with Operator. All right, so let's get to it. So what we're going to do is we uh, drag a drum rack from the instruments folder over here. All right, so next thing is we're going to be adding an operator to the drum rack. So we drag this operator, whoops, we drag it over here, for example, in C2, and we create a new clip with a four by four bit, something like this. Okay, over here, and there you go. So um, now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to uh, prepare the operator so that it is sensitive to velocity or volume. So we go over here in this part and we click it to make it, uh, to highlight it. And then we go to the velocity over here and we choose volume. Then we choose the amount to 100. And this is going to be now making that the operator every time it uh, receives a, a note that has a lower volume, the volume is going to be uh, more quiet. So let's see if that works. All right, it's working. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the envelope so that it's more like a kick because right now it's very, uh, it's not really useful. So we're going to be uh, moving the sustain all the way down and let's see how that sounds. So it's got a uh, much nicer uh, dynamic. So let's see. All right. Um, so we have this and we're going to uh, be also changing the, um, the envelope mode instead of none to trigger. And what is this, what this is going to be doing is that the envelope, as long as the note is pressed, is going to be triggered once and that's it. It's not, it's not going to be sounding uh, the whole time or anything. And this is very good for drums. So next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a click. So we can do this by going over here to the face of the envelope of the, upper, the uh, oscillator that we're using and we're going to put it at 25%. And now you can hear we are adding some click at the beginning and this is very good for kicks because it gives it that initial uh, harmonic content. So right now it's very high the, um, the, the, the tone, the pitch, so we need to put it down. So we're, let's try something around minus 24 sem semitones. Okay, that's much better. So next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, enabling the, the pitch envelope. So we click over here to do that. And we also, this is our pitch envelope. Now we change the envelope mode to trigger also and we uh, increase the pinch em envelope amount to the maximum. So now, now you can see it's starting to sound like a, uh, like a kick, but we need to do some adjustments. So we go over here to pick and we put it here 24 and we go over here also 24. So now it's going from uh, 24 uh, uh, semitones and it's going down until the root note which is uh, this this minus 24 so right now it's sounding like this and we can change if we change the decay over here you see it sounds more like a kick right now and if we make it larger it sounds more like an old school kick or like a Africa Bambata type of kick. So let's put something around there is good. Uh, we can the release just in case we can just make it large, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, right now we have our kick, it's sounding good, uh, but we need to add more punchiness and more, uh, yeah, more volume. So what we can do is we can add a uh, EQ8 so um, there is a very nice preset over here which is kick eq2 so we just drag it over here and as long as when i when i uh, leave it you're going to hear how the kick sounds much better so now it's much more punchier um okay so um 
right now what we can do is we can group these uh, two guys so we select both and then we press command G or control G and now we have um, we have grouped them so uh, right now what we can also do is we're going to be uh, mapping the time which is a nice uh, parameter to play with over here we reset it to its defaults and we also we map the click which is this face uh, parameter so we put it back to 25 which is the maximum click we get we can rename it right now to something like click all right so um okay we got that going so next thing we can do is we can add another type of uh, click we can do it uh, over here if we increase the uh, oscillator b amount so let's see how that sounds so now what we need to do is we need to uh, change the, the envelope something like this and also the decay so you see and we can also map this parameter over here okay um, let's see what we can do next uh, this parameter uh, we can also set it to the trigger but like it's so small it doesn't make a really difference okay um, now one thing we can do is uh, if we go over here and we click to make it uh, active we can see these are the type of algorithms operator can use so if we go and we choose this one now we can play with these two well actually you can play around with all of them and and do some cool stuff but in this case we can choose uh, this uh, style so we can have over here another uh, free uh, carrier another oscillator that is not going to be affecting the sound of these two and what we can do is we can copy all right uh, the the settings of Aut oscillator a so we can do that if we right click over here and we just say copy from oscillator a and now you see our kick is much more punchier right now and what we can do right now is we uh, also map the face of this oscillator C also to the click so now when we uh, remove the click it removes it from both from A and from C okay so let's put it back in 25 and let's add this to the maximum okay um, we also are going to be um, uh, playing with the distortion mode so you can get a more uh, dirty drum kick so we enable the filter over here and then we move the frequency to the top so it's not cutting any frequencies and now we can play with the uh, distortion mode so for example let's see how this sound so you see it's a bit more dirty and we can play with the drive here let's see how hard sounds let's see how sign sounds and for a bit we're going to be sticking with hard and also to minus 12 decibels and then the percentage of the dry weight we're going to be leaving it at only 30 percent so it's just a little bit it's not this so much distortion but i mean you can do it that however you want um, also another thing we can do to play with the sound well we can actually uh, map this one over here so we can add and we can call it dist for example um, yes um, and this one ah, also another thing another cool thing that we can do is we can map the decay of the uh, of the oscillator B which is uh, modulating the oscillator A 
so we can map the decay to a, to a macro so we can have them here more uh, quick to play with them there you go uh, and another cool thing that we can do is we can uh, tell the pitch envelope to not affect the oscillator B because right now it's affecting it so let's see how that sounds and now we can change the course here and uh, you can see you can hear I mean it's just uh, another type of another variation but let's put it back okay so that was it basically right now you have uh, five parameters which uh, you, with the uh, ones you can play with and by changing these parameters you can get some very different kicks you know so just playing with these guys and this is not So, um, yeah, go ahead and now you can create your own drum, uh, your own kick ass kicks. And uh, we will be doing some more tutorials on hand claps, hi hats, metallic hi hats, splashes, and all of uh, many, many cool uh, drum synth uh, presets. So, uh, stay tuned and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Ciao.